Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com and today I want to share with you guys some details about an amazing sale that can save you guys hundreds of dollars on e-bike parts. Now many people know that almost all of the parts used in electric bicycles from, come from China. Even if you've got one of those made in America e-bikes, pretty much all the parts on it came from China first, at least all the electric bicycle parts. What not that many people know though is that every year on November 11th, China has what's called Singles Day, which is an incredibly large uh, shopping holiday, kind of like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, but much larger. And if you don't mind waiting a few weeks for stuff to arrive, you can save a ton of money on common e-bike parts by shopping on uh, websites that sell from China. Now you've seen me use tons of different e-bike parts in all of my videos, and I get the majority of that stuff from AliExpress because it's just the cheapest place to buy. All this stuff comes from China, so it just makes sense to buy it from the source instead of through some middleman. The thing that I like about AliExpress is that they have an escrow system where when you're buying from one of these vendors, AliExpress holds your money in escrow until you receive the parts and confirm that everything looks good, it matches the description, and then they release your funds to the vendor. There are other Chinese shopping sites like uh, Gearbest and Banggood and some others, but um, I haven't used those as much, and as I understand it, with those you're kind of at the mercy of the website to return your money if you've ever had a problem. The few times I've ever had a problem with AliExpress, um, the company has always kept my money you know, from the vendor and sent it back to me when I got something that didn't match the description or arrived broken, but in the hundreds and hundreds of things I've bought, it's been maybe two or three cases. So I'm gonna share with you guys a number of products that come from vendors that I use on AliExpress. Now all the products that I'm going to show you have amazing deals for the November 11th sale. I don't have any financial relationship with any of these vendors. They are just vendors that I have personally purchased from in the past, and so I can vouch for you know, the quality of the vendor and of the products that they sell. What I do have is an affiliate program with AliExpress. So what that means is that the links that I will share for these products on sale um, will show AliExpress that you were referred from my channel. And what that means is that you'll get the lowest price possible and my channel will get credit for the referral, which helps me to produce more of these educational and more importantly free videos for you guys. All right, let's start with lithium batteries, which are probably the most expensive part of an electric bicycle. Now there seems to be this stigma against buying a Chinese made lithium battery. And um, I think that it's important to remember that you know, not every Chinese battery is gonna explode and burn your house down. The most important thing is the quality of the cells and the materials used in the battery and the quality of the uh, worksmanship. Now, I've seen some really amazing quality Chinese batteries that come from the right vendors, and I've seen some really terrible made in America batteries that I am sure are gonna burn somebody's house down. So again, like, it, it's not just this idea that everything made in China is cheap, that's not true. It depends what they put into these batteries. There's only one vendor that I use when I buy uh, lithium batteries from China, and that is Unit Pack Power. These guys are the real deal. They make great quality batteries. Most importantly, they use good quality brand name 18650 cells from manufacturers like Samsung, LG, and Panasonic. In fact, I don't want to name any names, but some of the companies that sell e-bike batteries in the United States and in other countries actually use Unit Pack Power as their vendor. So it's quite possible that you've already bought some of their batteries, it's just you paid a middleman a few hundred extra dollars to get that same battery. For their 1111 sale, their already awesome prices are even better. Here are a few examples. Now this is a 48 volt, 14 and a half amp hour Haylong pack, also commonly called a shark pack. If you check out the product specs, you'll see that they make this one with LG cells. The absolute best price I could find on a similar pack from a vendor in the United States was $520 but that was for a 13 and a half amp hour pack. This pack is one more amp hour at 14.5 amp hours and normally costs $360, including a charger and free shipping. Now that's already a crazy cheap price, but on November 11th, the pack is gonna be just $306 with free shipping and including a charger. Now that's insane. I'll put a link to this battery in the description below, along with links to all the products that I'm gonna show you guys. If you're watching this video on Facebook or outside of YouTube, just follow it back to YouTube so you can see the description and find those links. Here's another example. This is a 36 volt, 11 amp hour bottle battery made with Samsung cells. The best price I could find for a comparable battery in the US was around $370, and that's without a charger. This battery, including the charger, normally sells for $313, which is already a great price, but on the 1111 sale, it's going to be just $266. Come on, that's nuts. 
I'll put a link to this one in the description below as well. Now this vendor has tons of amazing prices on all of their batteries, and they have a great selection too. In general, I just recommend scrolling through and checking out the different batteries they offer, and then check to see which cells they're using to make sure you get one with the cells that you want. All right, now let's say you don't want to buy a ready-made lithium battery, you want to build your own. Well, you're going to need 18650 cells. Now, buying 18650 cells from China can be problematic because there are a lot of counterfeit cells out there and it's really hard to tell them apart. I usually avoid buying 18650 cells retail like this. I have my own sources where I buy them by the thousands, but when I do need to get just a few dozen or you know 100 cells here or there, there's one vendor on AliExpress that I use and it's this one. Now they've got a number of different cells and about a year ago they started adding these stickers over the uh, info label on the batteries. You know, normally there's like a Samsung or a Panasonic or whatever um, printed label on there. So they've started adding their stickers on top of that. I'm not entirely sure what the situation is here, but it's got something to do with the laws in China. As I understand it, this is a common practice when buying cells from Asia, because most of the retailers aren't supposed to be selling cells individually. The big manufacturers like Samsung and Panasonic and the others, they prefer to sell to battery manufacturers and not for the resale of individual cells. So for legal reasons, these retailers will often add a sticker over the label so it doesn't immediately look like a genuine cell, and then they'll sell them individually. If that sounds a little shady to you, then you're right, that does seem a little bit shady. But uh, we've learned that just sort of the world of buying individual 18650 cells from China and dealing with Chinese import-export laws. You know, I don't know all the reasons behind it, but that's just how it works. Now I can't vouch for all of these cells, as I haven't tried every model and flavor they have, but I have purchased Panasonic and Samsung cells from them, and I've confirmed that they are genuine cells. For this one, I just recommend scrolling through and checking out their offerings. For example, on the 1111 sale, they'll be selling Samsung 35Es for 440 each, and LG HG2s for 376 a piece. And then they've just got pages and pages of other cells to look through. So, you know, I think they've got just about everything. You just gotta scroll through and look. All right, now let's check out some motors and e-bike conversion kits. Now I generally buy my motors and conversion kits from one vendor on AliExpress called Unorao, not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Um, and on the 11.11 sale, they're gonna have some really good deals. They're gonna have the Bafang BBSO2 kit for as low as $381 with free shipping. And if you want more power, you should check out the Bafang BBSHD. Now this normally costs over $700 with shipping from US vendors, but on Unorao, they carry it year round for $660 with free shipping. But then on the 11.11 sale, they're dropping the price down to $587 with free shipping. And of course, if you want a lower power unit or you need to stay under a 250 watt limit, you can always get the BBSO1, which they have for just $320 during the sale. Again, I'll link to all of these in the description below. Now here's something a little bit different. I recently bought this 100 watt flexible solar panel that I want to use for making a DIY solar powered e-bike charger. But I should have waited because now the price is down to just $94 on the sale. And you know what? I might just pick up another one of these. Now looking around, I found just a ton of other products on AliExpress that have great deals for the 11.11 sale. I'm not going to list any of the other ones I've found just because I haven't purchased them personally. And I only want to share with you guys the ones that I've personally bought and I can vouch for these vendors. But just looking around, there are other things that I'm going to get. You know, in addition to my e-bike shopping list that I've already made, I'm going to be getting some speakers and then I found this cool robotic vacuum cleaner for my wife. So, you know, I recommend that you just look around on the site. There's so many crazy deals on the 11.11 sale that it's worth just, you know, looking and checking it out. Okay, now it's time for the giveaway where one of you guys can win a copy of one of my books, either DIY Lithium Batteries, How to Build Your Own Battery Packs, or the Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide. Now the winner from my last video, randomly chosen, was... Lucas. So congratulations Lucas, looks like you want to see a video about amps and amp hours. I will definitely be making one of those in the future. And if anybody else wants to win a copy of one of my books, all you have to do is put a comment below this video, anything you want, and in my next video, I'll do another random drawing for another winner. All right, one last thing. One of my subscribers, uh, William Prowse, sent me a copy of his book called Mobile Solar Power Made Easy, and it's really been an interesting read. I'm almost done with it, and I wanted to share it with you guys 
because solar power has been something of a pet project for me. You know, I've really been interested in it for a long time and I really enjoy solar projects. I haven't done any on this channel yet because I wasn't sure if, you know, it really fit well with the topic and I didn't want to branch out too far from the e-bike topics in case some of my subscribers were like, you know, what the heck, I came to this channel for e-bike stuff and he's doing solar things. But I think that there is a lot of crossover. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing a video on do-it-yourself e-bike um, solar chargers. And um, so it's something that I want to do more. And I was really excited to read this book because, you know, even though I know a lot about solar, it even taught me a few things that I didn't know. So if you're interested in solar projects, especially for mobile projects, like in this one, he talks about doing things not just for RVs, but for other types of mobile scenarios. This is a really good book with lots of information. Um, a few grammar problems, but hey, you know, I'm guilty of that too. A few people have written to me and told me they found a typo or two in my book. So, you know, no worries there. But the, the information in here is just, it's spot on, you know, from everything that I know, this is just technically 100% right. And uh, just lots of pictures, lots of diagrams, and really, um, you know, just a good job. So really good book, William. I highly recommend this. Uh, it's on Amazon. I think it was um, something like $15 maybe. Um, I don't know, he sent me a copy of it. But I think I also saw it's on the Kindle Unlimited programs. So I think if you have a, an unlimited uh, membership with Kindle, then you can read it for free. So check it out, and um, thank you again, William. All right, I think that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you guys can find some cool things during the 11.11 sale. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And you can always hit the subscribe button and then the bell for notifications if you want to get an email in the future when I post new videos. All right, thanks for watching, everybody.